If you're new here, I just want to tell you that I'm almost 70. The reason I say almost is because, because six months before my birthday, I start saying my new age. Uh, because it breaks it to me gently. So when I have the birthday, it doesn't matter. So today I'm going to take you to Central Casting with me and I'm going to show you clips of me going there and what happened and it's very very exciting. It's downtown in Burbank and it took me a good hour or so to get there and I got up at 4 in the morning and I headed out at 4 30, stopped for breakfast and lunch to go and I drove straight there. When I found it, I mean, I cheered. I just cheered. I was so happy that I actually was there because it's been a dream of mine for a long time. If you've seen, I'll put the video, I'll show you a picture of the video, but the 50 random facts about me, they're a little kooky, but you're going to find out a lot of stuff you don't know about me. So I'll link that below. And I'll link it at the end of the video too. If you have watched it, then you know that I was an extra for a soap opera back in the 70s. An extra for a world apart. I was in the episode with Clifton Davis and the scene was shot in a malt shop and I just sat there eating pretzels and drinking soda all day. <laughs> and when they, they got the back of my head, I made sure I ran my fingers through my hair. <laughs> so. The stage manager was a good friend of the guy that lived downstairs from me. I was around 21. He asked if I would be an extra and I was on the set for a few days and they gave me a dressing room with a star and my name. I didn't change, I didn't do anything, they didn't do hair and makeup, but they gave me a whole room. So I loved it, but back in those days I was recovering from a divorce I had two babies, and which are 48 and 49 right now, and they are my team, my kids. And to join SAG then, I believe it was $200, and I didn't have $200. Yeah. I think it's a few thousand now. But this is one of my dreams, and my sister does this for a living. She's been on every show you can imagine, every movie you can imagine. And my girlfriend, Linda, who has so much faith in me, told me when she saw Michelle, she said, I thought you were going to be doing that. And you are so right, Linda. So um, follow me along this journey if you'd like. I plan on showing you everything that I do. If I get a gig, if I don't, I, I will show you. I will let you in on the whole experience. And I met a lot of nice people. And... Tina. I left the house at 4. I didn't get back home until noon. It was like an 8 hour day, a, um, a briefing, um, applications to fill out, like a seminar, and photos, and it was just very exciting. I, I just can't wait to get to work. So here we go. Here's the video. The day I went to Central Casting. Mwah. Okay. It's 4 a.m. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm gonna get up, get dressed, and head to Central Casting. Rushing, 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 and it's four something in the morning. Going to central casting. <laughs> There's my makeup and my pills in case God forbid anything. And here's a bag full of I don't know, chargers, chargers, snacks. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna stop at 7 Eleven, get a breakfast sandwich, a lunch, because I'll be there for hours. Okay, and I'm gonna put my protein drink in my water. Okay, here we go. I'm wearing this new sweater my son gave me and I'm wearing my cap. That's right. Because that's what I'm comfortable. This is what I want to be cast as a woman with a cap on. Okay. I hope my eyeliner doesn't run. 
All right, here we go. Oh, it's black outside. Okay. Shh, be quiet. So early. I'm trying. Gonna try. They only take the first 67 people that get in line. After that, you gotta come back another day at this ungodly hour. Ugh, I hate this time of the morning. Ugh. Between four and six, I hate it. It just makes me so scary. So it's like five o'clock in the morning and they don't they don't start taking registration till nine. So I'll sit and wait. I put my chair. Thank you. Oh yeah, of course. That's good. <laughs> get the blood. I gotta get the blood moving, man. <laughs> All right. What time did you get here? Uh, 12.48. Oh, wow. Okay. Over here, <laughs> selling our new, our new fresh chairs. He should have bought a dozen of them. <laughs> Sold them to the people. Like, no, wait, he's selling it short, ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Just kidding. Just kidding. There's no selling around here. Nobody's selling anything. That's crazy. 